have here is the all-new Mitsubishi Pajero Sport. It's based on the Triton Bucky and is set to take on the Fortuna and the Everest. From a styling point of view, the front is imposing and modern, but flip it around to the rear and we're not sure it has the same appeal. Some feel it looks a little bit like that emoji with the tears. New to the Pajero Sport is the engine. It's lifted directly from the Triton, which means it has a 2.4 litre turbo diesel with 133 kilowatts and 420 newton meters of torque, which is on par with the Fortuna, but a little behind the 3.2 litre Thirsty Everest. Also new is the 8-speed auto, which replaces the old 5-speed auto. It even now has paddle shifts behind the steering wheel. Inside the Pajero Sport, Mitsubishi has revamped this interior. It still feels like the old car, but with plush surfaces and a few bits and bobs, it's feeling a lot more modern, like this handsome multifunction steering wheel. The driver's seat is electrically adjustable, the mirrors fold electrically, you've got keyless start and entry, and now this switching mode lever has been replaced by a rotary dial. So you can go between two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and four low range a lot easier, and it looks a lot less cluttered. But there's no space here for me to put my phone or my keys or anything. You've only got these two cup holders. When we first saw pics of the Pajero Sports interior back in 2016, we were excited about the infotainment system that was bang up to date and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capable. Unfortunately, Mitsubishi South Africa has replaced it with this more rudimentary system that lacks those features. It does have a USB port, but sure, it took us a while to find it. The Pajero Sport is a seven-seater, and although I'm not the tallest person around, it is quite roomy back here. I think anything taller than me and you're gonna struggle, but let's be honest, these seats are designed for children. On the plus side, I have my own air vent, a grab handle for when things get rough, and my own cup holders, and a fairly decent window to look out of. The middle seats don't move forwards or backwards, but they do have a recline feature. Well, you don't want anyone reclining this if you're in the back here. In five-seater mode, the Pajero Sport has an 810-litre boot, which compares reasonably well with its rivals. It comes equipped with tie-down loops, shopping hooks, and a 12V socket. To fold the rear seats down, you need to fold and tumble the middle row forward and pull four fabric loops at the back of the rear seat backs in a particular sequence to free up an entirely flat loading space. At least it's a more elegant solution than the Fortuna setup which leaves the rearmost seats hanging in the rear. With this new engine, the Bajero feels more refined. The engine isn't as noisy as it was before, and this gearbox doesn't jolt and feel as clunky as it used to. Power delivery is smooth, and the ride is doing really well on this road. The bumps are being smoothed out, but uh, we want something with a little bit more gradient. This knob allows me to change from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive on the fly. But you come to a complete stop if you want to engage four-wheel drive with rear diff lock in low range. But the Pajero takes it a step further with this rear locking differential, which you can use in four low or four high. And then this is a terrain response system, which allows me to select the terrain that's upcoming in front of me, and hopefully the systems kick in so that I can get through that terrain. coping really well with this terrain and I'm very comfortable on what is quite a bumpy off-road track here in Hilchat. It just it feels like a proper SUV based off-roader as opposed to a bucky based SUV which is a bit agricultural and rigid in ride. I think that's the Pajero's major draw card is that it is a car that can go anywhere and explore anything, but it's also comfortable, it's quiet, and it's well built inside, even with this 2010 infotainment system. <laughs> At just under 600,000 Rand for this 4x4 auto, 
the Pajero Sport is almost 40,000 Rand cheaper than the Everest and 25,000 Rand cheaper than the Fortuna. For us, it's the most capable off-roader of the lot and proves to be comfortable on-road. It's certainly a strong rival in the segment that's dominated by the Fortuna. Mitsubishi does appear to have a car that can compete. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We'd love for you to join our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.